here I'm back. We got to hit record. Crafted a couple of thingies. What the cute. Wait, at this stage, we're becoming kind of unstoppable as far as it takes a lot of DPS and a lot of coordination to kill you. Even a twinked out DPS is not gonna um, be able to solo you. It's just impossible. Tier 1 healers are walking gods. Tier 4 ones aren't bad either, but at least you have more utility to attempt to kill them. And they got no knockdowns, very few heal debuffs outside of the Witch Hunter one. And I was gone for like an hour maybe, so hopefully the uh, scenarios are still popping. Oh, they changed the, they must have changed the bolster to bolster my, um, potion. Because look, I just did it again. It was like 140 before I went into the lake, and then it's bolstered up. And I wonder if that works now for tier 4 in RVR so that low-level players get the same armor bonuses that uh, level 40 players. Maybe it was in the patch notes and I didn't read it. And so there's no one out here running a group. We'll just wait for a scenario. I could run around and probably kill something if it's like by itself. Let's see. I mean, I don't do a ton of damage, but they shouldn't be able to kill me unless they got a group. There's an engineer. So, build up five, uh of the red wog by just casting hots or uh, heals on yourself then go engage and you get a little damage bonus on your first five attacks so I did that behind the house here I'll cut it out I mean his only chance was to turn and use sprint or flee and just run to the war camp did I get the melee kill? fuck yeah I did alright And he wasn't worth anything, as far as I know. So that's interesting. I thought he was going to run, so I just wanted to get on top of him so that I could keep dotting him. Maybe get a direct damage if he ran. Hit him with two beams, you know, with the, after the cooldown. It's better than trying to cast direct damage as they run away. We smashed him across the face with our staff, so that's that's a win. I'm pretty sure we lost this one last time, so I don't really regret not going to IC to turn in scenarios, but I'll probably want to do it if I definitely if I win this. There he is, the guy I just killed. Find where the reset is and stand next to it. Somewhere in this little crater. It's like right here. Maybe a little more. Yeah, yeah. It's like right on the inside of this, like right there. Oh, All right, not going any farther. This has got to be the invisible wall. You cross it, you reset. Oh, and I never fixed my fucking thing up there, so it's kind of off in the middle of nowhere still. I like the PQ one, like, here, but... Not a big deal. Now, what I should make myself is some toughness potions, which would make me even harder to kill. I think I can make level 10 ones with somebody. I'll probably forget to do it, but uh, on Zealot, Doc, even Shaman, um, toughness works better in Tier 1 than Intelligence or anything else. As a stat, you can bolster. And that's besides Armor Pots. Um, you can use an Armor Pot plus a Stat Pot. They don't cancel each other out. they got different cooldowns. So you want your team down here on the flag fighting... Um, holding it, forcing them to stay down there and fight. If you have a team where they don't jump down, they are going to run up here immediately and start attacking heals and range DPS. But if you've got a team down at the bottom, they have to stop the cap. Because once you get the cap, even if you can't kill anything, if you can hold the cap, you can win this scenario. So our team was really slow to middle. Usually you want a tank or something to take this bottom route up and run straight to middle and start camping it or prevent the camp. We had everyone run to that first flag. And then uh, now even if we didn't kill very many of them here, but even if we did, then we, you know, 
we lost a lot of points by letting him camp it without any resistance. This guy should not have died. But that Zealot is uh, focused on healing himself rather than his team. Just stands there. I mean, it'd be fine if he wasn't dying to the guy. I mean, he's clearly trying to find like an opportunity to go down there and attack, but you know, he's just getting shot by range DPS. He's just hang out for a sec or come back over by me and then jump down on the left here. But he is engaged finally in the, in the ball down there. So maybe the range DPS will leave him alone. So just judging by which health bars are falling, it looks like the range DPS over there has now focused on the dock. Less talk and more healing. Um, it started probably about 10 seconds ago. They started attacking him instead. And of course they don't take them. All right, so this is good getting attacked by two of their DPS because I can detaunt and then take them out of the fight. I was hoping they'd jump down after me and I'd drag them right to the group. All right, so after all that fighting, all the kills we finally got, we just now capped the middle flag. And they got points for holding it that entire time. Which is why someone has to rush the middle at the beginning of the fight. I mean, preferably most of the team does, but at least someone that's strong enough not to die, like a tank, needs to get there and just hold it down. And I mean, there is, if you don't go to the first flag, sometimes they do send one, two, three, you know, maybe even four guys back cap immediately. And that can be detrimental if you only have like a healer or a fucking two of your range DPS or something sitting back on the first flag. And a four man comes behind. Don't smoke them before you can do anything. But you can see them coming with uh, target nearest or just cycle targeting with tab. I mean, you can. You you shouldn't be getting jumped on any of these scenarios once you learn them and where the uh, you know where the ramps and shit are. If you can just target people because you can see the direction that the person is through the wall. So. If you're at the first flag and you're tabbing and suddenly there's someone in range, it's because they're coming up below you. Now we had that other group, the four man, try and push the last flag before realizing that they were coming behind us. So we lost behind us. They died because they overextended. And the result is we lose the fucking metal because, well, you check behind you before you charge forward. It's not that, not that hard to see. You can click on your fucking map and you can uh, see, you know, mouse over people and be like, oh, that guy's losing health. Well, how, how do you think he's fucking losing health? He's, a, he's either jumping off something or he's getting attacked. So if he's on the first flag and he's losing health, fucking run back there and, you know, do something. Or at least be ready to hold middle. Where the fuck are you? Of course you're coming in behind them. People are so fucking bad. They don't understand the middle is all that fucking matters. And then if they back gap, you just turn around and kill the three guys that did it. And you win. But these dummies are... Look at this guy's healing from under there. And dying. I mean, I've healed from under there. But, uh... I used the fucking detail button, so I don't need to have cross heal. Yeah, this guy doesn't understand he's getting attacked again. No, I'm kind of built like a tank in tier 1, so maybe I have to sit here and hold the fucking flag? Alright, now I got 3 on me, 2 DPS, I gotta get high, and just kind of kite him around, I can't just sit there. 
I mean, look, just by going up the thing, they they disengage. They're just like, fuck it, we're gonna go for this other guy that doesn't know how to detonate. Look at those fucking dumbasses underneath the ledge fighting instead of fighting on the flag. I think we would have flipped it before those DPS dropped down. You know, have like one DPS put pressure on that range and then I could heal them and the rest of them cap the fucking flag. I mean, I'm a great distraction up here for back cap folks because I can probably tank two or three of them or maybe even kill someone. Well, that's game. That's what happens when you uh, don't cap the metal. It doesn't really matter if your team is not taking too many deaths. It doesn't matter how many kills you get. If you don't take the main objective, uh, you will fucking lose most of the time. Look at the kills. They could kill them. They're just too dumb to play the fucking objectives. That is classic Destro. Tier 1, Tier 2, Tier 4. Doesn't fucking matter. And instead of capping the mid when they pushed them back, which would take all of five seconds with the group of six people we had, they left the middle to go... I don't know what the fuck they were doing. Pushing under isn't the objective isn't under the thing, it's up above, so I don't know what they're doing. The one the first time they went up above. Which they didn't need to do. Not when we have two or three guys behind us back capping. And we have the tanks that just sit on middle and they would never take it back, but they're too dumb to sit in the middle. Well my little thing is uh covering my guy here. Let's try like right there. Oop, Zealot here fighting to see if he knows how to detaunt. Alright, I think he did his health high, and um, we should kill this guy. Especially if he doesn't run um, and let some of our other guys come in. No, he just jumped right to where we respawn, but he is level 11, so he might have stealth. Ah, uh, fuck, I thought I might get a second melee kill. Pot up, buddy. It's not gonna help you. I do that too when I'm playing DPS classes or tank even. I use the, the pot like 5-10 seconds too late. You know, you gotta do it pretty early on. I can't res yet. Alright, buddy. I should have charged ahead and not focus on this guy right in front of us. Gotta keep my eyes, uh, looking at the group health a little closer. It's really easy to get tunnel vision as a DPS, and when you play a healer and then start DPS, and, like, tunnel vision comes back pretty quick. Alright, so jump over this thing. I can look down below. We can see a back capper coming. You know, if I'm playing like a Chapa, Witch Elf, a Marauder or something, I'm, I'm just jumping down right behind him. I'll take the fall damage because I'm going to get the surprise on him, hitting him in the back. Um, and you can usually kill a solo guy pretty quick, even, even ones that have decent gear. I mean, if they're not expecting you, you're going to get two or three hits on their back before they realize, holy shit, you were right behind me. He's either potted or he's getting healed. He's getting healed by Rune Priest. So assuming I uh, was a melee DPS and not this dot damage class, and I did jump down, I think I would have killed that guy before the Rune Priest started getting those heals on him. Probably would have killed the Rune Priest too after I got done with the Swordmaster. And the difference is our team, instead of turning around here to run back like they did, they would have been up above, already pushed into their last flag. So a little situational awareness and some timing it can change a fight pretty drastically. I mean, we're going to win here anyways. I mean, it's not going to truly affect the outcome of the match to 
if I had done that on a DPS, but um, on a close one, it could be the, all the difference that matters. This guy knows what he's doing. We can't kill each other. Some staff on staff action there. I thought the chopper would be down here by now. This might explain it. Is it like cap the other side five times? Is that what they keep running over there? I have no idea. Yeah, there's some event. Multi day of it's not just the weekend event. Non stop. I gotta be close to 10. Did that give me 10? Be a lot easier when we hit 10 because then I get res. No, I'm like halfway there. The sound for finishing a plant sounds like the sound for. Um, leveling up. Although I think I have the uh, stream sound off in the game. I can hear it in my uh, headset. Every time I finish growing a plant, I think I leveled up. I don't think it's the same, but it's similar. Fix my UI real quick while we're rolling out. The order was really slow to get here. It's just been sitting here for a couple seconds. All right, I was gonna, I was gonna say I might have to cut a bunch of this out, but it looks like the fight could be starting here. I mean, if you're late to get to the middle here and compete to pick up the thing, you're at such a disadvantage. Um, like if you have two equal teams, but you let the first team grab the thing without a fight, you could lose despite being on par with the other team—skill, gear, level, whatever. Right? Like you could have equal shit, but because you actually played the scenario wrong in the first 30 seconds or a minute, you lose. Yeah, that sound, sounds just like leveling up. It's kind of just clean up duty at this point. They don't have the DPS to really kill us. The guy holding the thing could die eventually here. It's, it starts to tick pretty hard, but, um, Basically a win from the start. It is frustrating to get someone down to like 10%. Run out of AP or whatever, you can't heal them, and then magically they're at half. So I'd try and save the morale as a finisher if you have it. Don't just spam it whenever it's up. Also, if you're like a witch hunter, use your absolution with 3, 4, 5 accusations as a finisher don't just spam it um i mean clearly you spam it sometimes but most classes have one big damage ability besides their morale and you gotta like time it right because it sucks to get someone down and then close but no cigar that witch elf dropped quick he might have the uh bolster bug which i don't know if that's every time or if that's uh just every now and then I didn't think I could keep him up for too long. Buddy, you ran out of line of sight. Also ran away from your guard. Fucking Marauder ran down the ramp down there. What is he doing? I think he's guarded by this guy, so that's good. I guess maybe he saved that tank's life, because uh, they might have both died there. What 
What are you doing down there, dude? He's going to die exactly where the Marauder died. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I mean, it's cool to push in, but wait till there's not a guy killing everyone in the back, maybe? I mean, there's really no need to even push in at this point. The scenario's over. I mean, they're, you know, it's fun to just try and get right into their spawn, but... Uh, it's frustrating as a healer to watch people just, like, suicide into them. Oh, he has the thing. That's why he keeps taking damage. And I think we got more people in this scenario. I think we got two more healers in the other group that weren't there earlier. Oh, this guy dinged up. Ooh, got him by a mile. So that Marauder ran out of line of sight. There wasn't much I could do to that. He was low, so was the Black Orc. If he stayed there, they'd probably both die. So him not taking uh, guard damage because Marauder ran away may have helped. And then the, um, I mean, the one guy, I can't keep up with heals if the, after it starts taking too much, which sucks because I didn't have a res. And, um, Jesus, that witch elf got nuked by like a slayer and a, a sword master. I don't know if they ran around behind or what the hell happened. He got obliterated though. Other than that, I think we played uh, that one pretty well. Kept the hots up on everyone to start the fight. And they uh, ran back, we ran to their back, and uh, our guys were able to kill their healers or whatever whatever was back there faster than they could do anything in our back line. I mean, it, eventually they would kill stuff in our back line if we gave them enough time, but... Or maybe not. Yeah, we're really close. One scenario, we'll get res. I like to throw that on F right between all my... Uh, all my fingers. I'm using E D A G. Spread them out a little bit. So I got like uh my morale is S. Res is F. I mean, you gotta have those very quick. Especially once you get insta res, you can uh you can do like jump reses and shit. Which you can do if it's on another bar, but it's easier to do if it's right um uh, no reach on your finger. Been using that layout since fucking Quake 1 or Quake 2 days. Just because the uh, grappling hook and the weapon switch is so much easier right next to your fingers than having to reach up a little bit. But I do have the toughness ones already, so we're good. Jump around on my characters and find a level 10 um, armor pot. I think we're doing a little bit better on cultivating. <laughs> we're at the 13. Maybe we haven't had the luck on the skill, but I, I feel like I've been doing it. I mean, maybe I don't know what a mule looks like, but it looks like a horse to me. Get on the flag, guys. You two, get the fuck over here. Jesus Christ. Slow order gave us a free cap. So if they're going to give us a free cap, we got to take this, then just kind of keep our distance. If someone tries to rush us, we got to have either we're running up here uh, above us and just run back towards our group, detente, you know, give them the old dipsy doodle. I don't know where this Chosen is, but he's gray here, so he's out of range, uh, or he's out of line of sight. Probably on the bridge. I couldn't snipe it. So realize when you go on the other side of that bridge, you're going to be out of line of sight. So you have to get back to the top. As a healer, I can then like kind of jump heal too to get line of sight if I'm within range. We're just going to join the melee train here. Probably won't get a staff kill, but we'll do a little bit of damage. There is a snipe. Push on, boys. That uh, Serpent's Passage I had like 
Well, a couple of them are snipes, but I was getting good snipes at one point. I think I racked off three in a row. Now oh, they're probably riding over here in the back cab, but that don't matter. Because we just ride back to the fort, and it's over. Yeah, barracks is the one by our base. The back capping is only really effective if it's a close match. You're just delaying the inevitable doing this. I mean, I, I don't know if you get any more rewards. Maybe one more token for fucking wasting everyone's time for another two or three minutes. I eh, mean, the sort can probably do it. Black Orc just guarded the wrong person. He should guard the Sork so they can just go in and try and do some fucking ninja moves. Get a staff kill or something. Um, and you can tell I'm guarded, one, because the icon is uh, on my guy, the little orange and yellow thing I'm above my name. And then the uh, tether I have, I think that's like the enemy guard pack is what it's called. It withdraws the little uh, line to my guy. When I'm within range, it's green like this, and then if I get too far away from him, it's blue. It's fucking hilarious listening to people try and argue that guard pack tether is the equivalent of nerf buttons, which plays the fucking game for you. Uh, they're crying about that change. So you're kind of always at a disadvantage if you don't group back up. And yeah, you can kind of slow the scenario down back gapping. Sometimes you can even win it doing that stuff if the other team never comes back to fort, for instance. But if you don't group up and fight as a group, you're generally doomed. I mean, their only shot of winning is to group up. Even if they get zero kills, they got to get better somehow playing together as a group. Running around solo and fucking back capping is just delaying the inevitable. And you can see on my screen, I got the little icon above all their heads. That's my dot. So we're just adding a little bit of damage here and there. Make these fights go a little quicker. Damn. So we're just done cleaning up duty back here. I mean, the Sork is doing damage to himself. I think he might have the bolster thing, because whenever he takes self-damage, it looks like he's getting blasted. Um, the guard, or the Black Orc in the other group is probably guarding the uh, Chapa, if anybody. Um, but there's no real threats to us losing here. Oh, that big hill never went. See, now that his combustion's high, I think he just took one one self-hit for 30%. Which is like, uh, I think it's a 300 damage hit. And then uh, he probably has, what, like a thousand hit points because he's debolstered. He's getting hit by a Bright Wizard? Yeah, yeah. Some big, some big range damage. It feels so futile to attack a guarded target. Like, you'd think you'd just want to focus rage. And then you'd, like, he takes no damage. You're like, ah, fuck. Oh, the Death Star. Damn. You get, like, ten shaman and you all shoot the beam together. It's a literally a recreation of, uh, the Death Star. So he won't regenerate as long as he's in combat. And he's, he's useless over here. If we kill him, scenario might be over. So let's just go get him. So now that we got most of our tier 1 abilities, it's going to be uh, always challenging for the first or second heals. And we just got res, so let's move that over here, which makes us even more unstoppable. Because, you know, like, 
when that Marauder and that uh, Black Orc were fighting, well, eventually one of them's going to die. And then if you can get the Black Orc back to full health, it'll give you a window to res the Marauder. And then he's right back at it. And it's uh, demoralizing on the other team when you kill one, but you can't kill the other. And then before you know it, both targets are back up beating on you. So now we got toughness. Um, I'm going to go find armor pots that are level 10. I got so many low level characters. One of them has to have them. So I'll be right back. <laughs> 